Welcome back, everybody. So we are going to be looking into a new Am I the Asshole video today. And the title is Am I the Asshole for Banning My Sister-in-Law from My House Over Tomato Sauce? I gets to know. <laughs> I, 28 female, have an older brother, 32 male. He is married to sister-in-law, 33 female. I get along with her well, except for this one point. If you don't keep an eye on her, she will get into the kitchen and add seasonings to whatever is cooking. She thinks she's fixing stuff, but not all food needs turmeric in it. This Saturday, I received 40 pounds of tomatoes. It took me the whole weekend to turn it into a sauce that I was planning to can. I can it plain, then add whatever seasonings and herbs it needs depending on the recipe. Smart. They came to take a bag of spare clothes for one of their kids, and in the five minutes it took me to get it, she managed to get into the kitchen, add salt, pepper, turmeric, olive oil, garlic powder, and Italian herbs to all five of the pots that were simmering on the stove. When I told, asked her what she was doing, she had the audacity to say, This sauce needed some taste. I added it for you. Like I've never told her to not touch what I was cooking before. I was so angry that I knew I couldn't be calm talking with her. So I simply walked to my brother, told him to take the clothes and his wife, and that she is no longer welcome in my house. She had followed me, was shocked, started apologizing, but I just ignored her. I added that he should come by tomorrow to take the sauce his wife ruined, because otherwise it would be thrown away, and that I expected 40 pounds of replacement tomatoes. Pounds in weight, by the way. They left. He came back with the tomatoes. An apology letter from her. And an apology carrot cake. My favorite. Not my favorite, their favorite. But I told him that I stand by my decision. Now, my parents got involved, since I am the one that usually hosts, and since she is not allowed in my house, I told them to make alternate plans for Memorial Day. My husband says that I am in the right, but my parents say that my reaction is way overblown. So, am I the asshole? Edit. Since there seems to be some confusion, I am not planning to host for Memorial Day and bot inviter. I said I am not hosting. My parents or my brother should host, and I will attend as a guest. I might be angry, but I don't want her excluded. Okay. Why? <laughs> so, we can get this part out of the way right now. Not the asshole. Who? Who? Goes into someone else's house and has the irresistible urge, the need, to sneak, only when not witnessed doing this, to sneak into the kitchen to find whatever might be cooking at that time, and grab all your go-to herbs and spurbs, and just plop them in everything that's going on. It's like, it needed some extra seasoning. What are you? What are you? Are you some kind of witch that just needs to add your special sauce to everything, regardless of whether you've been told not to do it or otherwise you're doing it through stealth. Who has to do this? Who? What is wrong with you? I am flabbergasted. Flabbergasted. Word of the day is flabbergasted. Ah, oh, and the fact that you've chosen to ban them from your house, this, this is striking me now as the straw that broke the camel's back. You've suffered through this, they've ruined so much before, you've finally gotten your next delivery of, of tomatoes so that you can set up what you need in all your different sections. So that when you have all these other recipes that you're going to make, you can season it the way they need to be. Honestly, it sounds like you're almost a f chef. Like, you know what you're doing with this. You have the mental capacity to prepare ahead of time what needs to be done to make this malleable for whatever recipe is required. This person, however, has repeatedly come through and destroyed all of your stuff. And this time, within five minutes and a simple come by, pick up a bag and leave task, has managed to destroy that entire delivery. Like, completely useless now for what it was intended for. You were kind enough to actually give them that sauce, all of that tomato 
is now forty pounds worth as an in weight tomato has been gifted to them in then in her preferred seasoning as well. Ready made because she ruined it. And as much as that is a you ruin it, you can have it kind of deal, but I think she'll actually enjoy having that. She'll be like, Oh yeah, I made this free. <laughs> They've seen the error of their wit, which I get. Maybe down the line you'll reconsider the ban. I'm not sure a lesson has been learned, honestly. If you just undid it after getting a cake and a letter, no. <laughs> They're just gonna keep doing it. So and of course they replaced your tomatoes, which is good. They they did everything they needed to do for this situation. What they still need to do is suffer the ban for a while, as long as you deem fit, because she gots to learn to stay out the kitchen, you know? Ooh, you have to do what we have to do with our dog, which is you get a fire guard and you just put it in front of the kitchen door so that they can't get in. Uh, and hopefully, because they seem to think that this needs to be done to all meals through stealth whenever there is any possibility of doing so, that if there is a simple fire guard barrier placed in the doorway at like knee height, I don't know how tall they are, but I don't know, knee to waist height, depending on their size, <laughs> triggers that animalistic res instinctual response of, ah, barrier, I cannot, I am blocked. Fire the game. You are not the asshole here. <laughs> there is no universe in which you're the asshole here. Your parents are wrong as well, by the way, you have not overreacted. This is like, this has just gone on too long. Um, and they need to sit in, in the naughty corner for a while and not be allowed in. And as you say, you, you know, you're not now going, I'm still hosting, but you're not allowed to come. It's just, nope, we're hosting somewhere else. I'm not doing it because it's going to go wrong. Everyone's still allowed to be part of Memorial Day. It's just, I'm not going to be the host this year because I have this banning effect now and I'm not lifting it, especially when it's going to be involving cooking. Let's have a look at the comments, shall we? <laughs> <sighs> Opie has offered the following explanation for why they think they might be the asshole. I banned my sister-in-law from the house because she seasoned my tomato sauce that I was planning to campaign. I might be the asshole since this ruins the family dynamic, forces my parents to host when I'm the host usually. What is wrong with brother and sister-in-law hosting as well, by the way? They're capable. Clearly she knows what she's doing in the kitchen. <laughs> That's an oversimplification, definitely, OP. This has been an ongoing thing for far too long, and now it's... yeah. As I say, straw the bread that counts back. Further comments. If you don't keep an eye on her, she will get in the kitchen and add seasonings to whatever is cooking. She managed to get into the kitchen, add salt, pepper, turmeric, olive oil, garlic powder, and Italian herbs to all five of the pots that were simmering on the stove. Quote, what? This is so boundary disrespecting, disrespectful, and insulting to what you're cooking, and it wasn't even for her! Not the asshole for being furious. I do think she's learned her lesson, though. I think they have not yet learned their lesson, and they still need to simmer. <laughs> Cooking jokes. They need to simmer in that, um, in that pot for a while. <laughs> Response. She thinks we don't season enough, but here's the thing. If I'm making Indian or Chinese, I toast the spices and grind them with mortar and pestle. My Ethiopian friend that I make spicier foods than her mom. But if I'm making mac and cheese, a burger or mashed potatoes, of course I'm only using salt and pepper because usually the flavors are in the sauce or the gravy. OP, you seem, as a, again, you seem to know your way around the kitchen. You know what you're doing with these meals. You have got your head screwed on about this. Sister-in-law's an idiot and should never be allowed near a stove. I feel like they'd just get a pot and put turmeric in it and then lick the hot pot and like burn, melt their tongue and face to the pot and then wonder why it went wrong. They make me worry about the future of humanity. <laughs> Moving on. Not the asshole. She's crossing boundaries, poking into something where she doesn't belong. There's all kinds of wrong with messing with someone else's cooking. What if you were making something for someone allergic to turmeric? Good on your brother for replacing the tomatoes and on her for apologizing. Like I said, they did what they needed to do. That said, you're still in the right for banning her from the house, especially if that has happened multiple times, and you have been clear with her that it is not acceptable. Mm. If you are thinking about letting her back in, I'd make sure the apology is a real apology first, not I'm sorry if you're feeling for her, but something which takes responsibility for her actions. I added seasoning to your giant tomato sauce project without asking. This was out of line, and I shouldn't have done it. It's my fault, and I'm sorry. In the future, I'm planning to not enter your kitchen unless invited. Yes. Not the asshole. I won't be hosting her anymore since clearly she doesn't like my cooking. But I'm sure she and brother will be happy to host since she's so eager to demonstrate her skills in the kitchen. Oh, thank you. Oh, amazing. Well, 
I mean, I, I would say that pretty much sums up what we've got from this one. <laughs> uh, as always, guys, if you've got any comments, please do slam them down in the comment section below. Like and subscribe to the video if you want to make everything spicy for me in the future. Uh, and if you want to check out any of our other content, head on over to the Etsy store, the website, Twitch. We have a TikTok now as well. It's got short form versions of this. If you want to go check that out and, you know, spread the word about that one as well, that could be nice. Improve the exposure. <laughs> Until next time, see you then. Subscribe.